Hey bosses, it's Nina. So today I'm going to give you a tutorial on Rev. Um, Rev, I've been using it for a while. I think Akila turned me on to it, Akila Pitts. But um, they are amazing for doing transcription, captions, and translations. And so for YouTube videos, for my YouTube videos, I don't do captions for each one but I try to do them for the ones that I really, really want views on. Um, so I'll choose the caption option. The, ca the caption option, excuse me, is like closed captioning that you see on TV and on YouTube, it actually has the timestamps and all of that. Transcription, you can do audio or video and it's basically just typing out um, what you're writing. I've used that more for blogs that I wanna create. I can record it on my phone and then send it off to Rev and then translations. I think I only use that once and you could translate that to other languages. They can be videos, they can be documents, audios. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do. So let's jump in and figure out how to use Rev for audio transcriptions. Okay, before I actually submit a new video, I wanna show you kind of how your library is set up here. So I can go into one of my previous um, jobs and I believe I said that it's, it's a dollar a minute. So this was only about 11 or $12. I can go in here. Okay, once you're in here, there's a lot of features that you can use. As you're playing the video, hey, notice you can see the text underneath here, right? So it's right under here. You can change the size depending on how you wanna see it. So you'll see it as it's going through, but you'll notice that you can also merge different captions, add additional items, make changes if a word is incorrect. So it gives you the ability to actually go in here after it's transcribed. Notice on the left-hand side, there's a couple of tools that you can use. So you can actually, add in different sounds. For, so for anyone who's hearing impaired, if you are doing any videos that has music or certain sounds or um, a crash or a drop or whatever it is that you want to describe, you can go in there and add those. And you can also add certain or replace certain words. So I always say wanna, I don't know why I say wanna, but if I wanna change wanna to want to, I can go through and replace that and there's a couple of other kind of items over here that you can use when you're going through and editing. I don't do any of this. I'm gonna be very, very honest. I send it off to Rev. Rev automatically updates it on my YouTube video and I just leave it. I know that there's certain instances that you really, really wanna get them right, but for me, that's enough for me as long as it's maybe 90%, 95% correct. Now just a couple of additional features that happen once you get your video. Um, you can go in here and use your shortcut keys. Again, this is more for editing. And if you wanna go through and edit certain words, you can also search and replace just like Word or any other documents. So you can actually replace certain words or phrases. And then there's also spell check, which allows you to go through and check the spelling and all of that. Again, I don't do any of these when I um, record my video, but I did want to show you some of the benefits of um, Rev. Okay, I'm gonna place a new order. I actually do have a closed caption that I want. Don't be afraid to select captions. All, and actually, I always select captions because you can actually export your in file in other formats. So you can do just the text file without the timestamps. You have a lot of different options in there. So I always choose closed captioning or captioning rather. Now you can upload a file from your computer or also just grab a link from the internet if you want to translate that or do captions. I have it connected directly to my YouTube. And so what it will do is actually search for my YouTube videos. Here is a tip. Your video has to be at least unlisted. It cannot be a private video or Rev will not see it. So I usually do this right before I'm gonna publish it if I do any um, captions. So basically this one is not published yet, but it is on unlisted. So I'm gonna click on this so it can go ahead and translate or go ahead and, sorry, um, create the captions. One of the things that you can do is I 
You could check this that says only show videos without caption file. And what this does is if you've already transcribed or already created captions for files, it will filter those out. I love that because there's some videos I do, some videos I don't, and I might wanna go back and look at those. So I'm gonna choose that one. I'm actually gonna choose my stock images as well and my webinar jam. So then I'm gonna add selected items to the cart. Okay, and so the Instagram tips and tricks, that's 31 minutes, so that's $31, right? And then each of these other ones are eight minutes, six minutes, so you could just get charged by the minute. You can go through and uncheck, so I can take this off and take this off, and then it's left with this one. Now, usually they deliver, they say within 24 hours, usually it's within an hour or so, um, but anything that's over 30 minutes, and it says it right here, can take longer than 24 hours, right? The next item, and I always check this, let me go ahead and zoom in, automatically deliver captions back to YouTube. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and release my YouTube video, and at one point, automatically, you know, the magic is gonna happen and in the background, it's actually going to just submit the file to YouTube for me. Notice you can select different file types. I just have the, um, I just leave this. Again, you can download the Facebook one, just regular text, but I can always come back in here later and um, download the different formats I need. Now, if you have an internal reference name, so maybe this is invoiced out to a client or you have certain charge to or charge back, um, codes, you could put that in here, but I just leave that and then I'll go ahead and do checkout. You can check out with PayPal or a credit card. All right, so now that it's done, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, if you have a script, so if you're someone who's doing like little skits on YouTube or anything like that, you can upload the script to help them and to improve the quality. It gives them something to check against. One thing I like to do um, is I add a glossary of terms like Tailwind because they might have Tailwind as two different words or maybe they're not used to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Tailwind. That's what I'm talking about. I'm also gonna add auto posting, hashtags, and anything else. So maybe not hashtags, but you know anything that they may not be familiar with. So maybe socially Nina or Nina things like that, Pink Boss Club, whatever it is that I might mention in the video that I wanna make sure they spell correctly. This is why I don't go back and check. Um, I'm sure there's mistakes all over, but for the most part, if you add some words that they're not used to, you can go ahead and add that and then they can use that as a, as a reference. Also, if you have several speaker names, because it will tell you the person that's speaking once you see your captions, you can actually add the speaker names to make it easier for them. I'm gonna go ahead and close for now. Okay, now you get, you receive an email from Rev, and actually what is the email? It's support at rev.com, and basically what this is going to do is, the first one's just a confirmation, but the second one is gonna be a link or an update when your captions are ready. I tell you this because this goes into the updates folder at some point, um, at some time. So go ahead and drag those over to your inbox so you can actually see those or just kind of do a search for them. Now I'll come back once the transcription has been completed. Okay, before I show you the email that you receive, um, I wanted to let you know that I have a $10 off coupon so you can get started with Rev. And so if you do short videos, that's great. You can do a couple videos and get them, um, get the captions or transcriptions added to them. Also, if you're into affiliate marketing, I'm going to leave a link below for you to sign up as an affiliate for free. Now, if you're interested in doing becoming an affiliate, there's two perks right now. One, you will receive a $100 credit when you use my link. So that's one. Two, um, when you refer people, you also receive a $100 um, credit. So anyways, look at their details. Go ahead and use my, my links to sign up for Rev for your $10 off. And then for their partner program, it's free to sign up and then you get credit. So if you're getting, getting started, this is a great way to just earn um, some credits and get some free transcriptions. Okay, 
Now let's look at what comes in your email after your transcription is complete. Okie dokie, garter chokey. That's what my grandmother used to say. Um, the video was transcribed and it talks about the length of the video. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I did receive an email message. I don't think you guys care to look at the email message. It was basically just saying your video is ready. But um, all the features that I talked about are in here and I can do whatever I need. But as a reminder, like I said, I don't usually go in here and do any changes. Um, what I usually do is just kind of check my YouTube. Now before I show you my YouTube, what I do in this area is I do go to my order history. The reason why I go here is because I can actually download, let me find it, I can download different file types and versions of this um, closed caption. Now you do have to go in here. If you just click the video and click on download, it will just download the closed caption area. But if I click on download here, I can download it in any file type. So notice if I'm moving it over to um, other applications like Facebook and other things, I can actually download those, QuickTime, all of those. The only one I usually use is either time text or transcription and um, I can actually just put that on my blog. Remember, everything on the internet is searchable. If you're in any of my classes, I always say hashtag everything is searchable. So this will actually help on your blog if you're actually putting this, if you embed the video and put this um, information on your blog. Now, if you want me to show you how I do that, just leave a comment below and let me know, hey, Nina, show me how to add transcriptions and videos to my blog to get more views. All right. So you would download that and use that. So let's go um, over, head over to YouTube. Okay, so if you look, this is what I'm looking for. You actually don't need to really go into the video, but I can actually see by the little CC here, you can see any video that I have closed captioning. So if I click on it, And I'm actually going to turn the sound down, but you'll see that the text is coming at the bottom and it's automatically added. I didn't have to download it and upload it to um, YouTube or anything. It just had the closed caption on there. So it's a great way to get more views and it's a great way to really get your videos to another audience. So if the audience is hearing impaired, it actually walks them through um, each step. So that's how I use Rev. Don't forget to click on the links below. I do get a teeny tiny, and I mean teeny tiny, um, portion of the revenue if you do sign up and get that $10 off using my link. Um, and also, if you want to become a partner, go ahead and use the second link down there. I know this is my Friday video, and I skipped Wednesday. I was working, um, doing a training for an international training, and I just, for two after two days of that and work, staying up all night training, it was just, I had I bombed on Wednesday. So anyways, I'll go ahead and post my other video today and that's gonna be all about how to um, use these hashtags with YouTube. And so, um, yeah, go ahead and click on the link in the details for all of the videos in this series or head over to my playlist for more videos. Ciao for now.